Morgan Stanley says it's time to buy 10-year bond after yields surged again Aussie shares are poised to open higher despite US tech stocks reversing late in the day. At 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, the ASX 200 index futures was pointing up by plus 0.2%. Time equals 400 ms, greater than in New York. The S&P 500 and blue chips Dow Jones index closed flat, while the tech-heavy Nasdaq dropped by minus 0.25%. The late sell-off was triggered by NVIDIA's announcement that the U.S. government was restricting shipments to China of more advanced artificial intelligence. AI chips designed by Nvidia and other US chip makers. Nvidia shares fell minus 5%, while other chip makers like Advanced Micro Devices and VMware also slipped on the news. General Motors was flat after the company said it was delaying its electric vehicles production plan to corporate earnings. Goldman Sachs fell minus 1.5% after reporting a 33% slide in profit. Bank of America advanced 2.5% after profit beat estimates, and its trading desk reporting their best Q3 in a decade. Earnings season is still in early days, but there are signs corporate America may have turned the corner. Tesla and Netflix will be reporting their results later today. U.S. time, market sentiment meanwhile was boosted after U.S. retail sales data smashed expectations rising by 0.7% in September which was more than double Wall Street's estimates. Jim Karen at Morgan Stanley Investment Management believes it's time to add duration to your bond portfolio, i.e., moving to more long-dated bonds. Get long of bonds? No. Add duration? Yes. There is a big difference, Karen said. As bond yields move close to 5% for the US 10-year, we think this is a good opportunity to reduce the underweight and add duration to portfolios. Karen said with us 10-year yield around 4.8% right now, it's starting to trade slightly cheap to a no-landing scenario in Morgan Stanley's estimation. A no-landing scenario is when the economy continues to grow above normal, while the unemployment rate stays low, and inflation cools to the 2% target and stays there. We still maintain a small overweight to equities and are looking for an opportunity to buy the dip. We will take our cue from changes in bond yields, says Karen. Oil prices surged another 1% as the war escalated in Palestine, with hundreds reportedly killed at a Gaza hospital. Brent is now trading at US 90.87 a barrel. Aft Pharmaceuticals, ASX, AFP, AFT announced it has been notified overnight that the U.S. FDA has approved Maxagesic IV, the intravenous form of its patented pain relief medicine, for sale in the U.S., which represents AFT's second FDA approval within one year. The event will trigger a milestone payment of US$6 million to AFT from the U.S. licensee of the medicine Hikma Pharmaceuticals. AFT is entitled to 65% of this under its profit share arrangements with Hyloris. AF also qualifies for a US$2.9 million United States dollars reimbursement of regulatory fees paid to the FDA for Maxagesic IV that it expects to receive in the current financial year. Noxofarm, ASX. Nox, new data shows SOF VAC. Noxofarm's proprietary asset significantly reduces mRNA-driven inflammation in animal model. In the animal study, Inflammation was reduced by around 50% when comparing the inflammation induced by mRNA alone to mRNA plus SOF VAC. This is an important finding, as many side effects of mRNA vaccines are due to inflammation, says Knox. Galileo Mining. ASX. Gal. Drill results at Jimberlana South Prospect have highlighted emerging targets. New near surface target zones identified include. 52 meters at 0.29 grams, T3E1, 0.15%, CU, and 0.12% knee from 8 meters, and 28 meters at 0.34 grams, T3E, 0.20% CU, and 0.14% knee from 32 meters within fresh rock sulfide zone. Prospect Resources. ASX. PSC. PSC reported significant new discovery from the Phase 3 diamond drilling program at its step-aside lithium project in Zimbabwe. 2. Scout. 
Drill holes returned wide intercepts of strongly mineralized pegmatite from shallow depths. Hole CDD055 has returned assays showing 23.08 meters at 1.03% lithium oxide from 45 meters, including 11 meters at 1.51% lithium oxide from 54 meters. Black Cat Syndicate. ASX. BC8. BC8 provided an update on underground diamond drilling at the 100% owned Paulson's Gold operation. Results include 0.24 meters at 90.10 grams, TO from 31.42 meters, 0.58 meters at 11.80 grams, TO from 43.08 meters, and 1.06 meters at 5.54 grams, TO from 28.33 meters.